morning, everybody. So this morning, we are actually going to recreate this painting. Um, I actually did a video on this one, the pour itself. But then I was polycrylicing and finishing putting the vinyl on and all that kind of stuff. And then I realized I forgot to record it. So um, we are going to recreate it. And um, I'm going to show you how I did it step by step. So these are all of the colors that we used. I do have an extra canvas waiting in the wings if we have some extra paint left over um, that we will do another pour with. But I'm going to show you how I got this ocean type wave look. Um, and then we will do the vinyl and then we'll seal it all together. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do this as one full video. So all of our colors in front of us, we have the Deco Art Americana Black Tie. And that is actually the color the canvas is paid, uh, prepped with. This was actually a canvas that I didn't like the pour on. So I let it dry fully and then I just painted over it. Just put a new fresh layer of um, base coat on and we're just going to paint over it. So if you have a painting that you don't really like, um, you can actually just... Once it's fully dried, just paint over it again, and you can use it and just re-pour it. But I would suggest always putting down a base coat when you're going to do that. If you use silicone in the first one, um, you just have to be really careful and make sure you clean your canvas really, really well. Normally, if I have a, a silicone or a canvas that I, I use silicone on and I don't like it, I normally don't re-pour over it. Um... I just don't, but that's up to you if you want to do that. So I'm going to tell you the colors that we used as well as the mixture ratio. This is going to be a two to one ratio because we do want a thicker paint because we are swiping and we are going to use silicone. So um, we will be using silicone in the black only. And um, excuse me, Kitty Toe, I got to step over you, buddy. Kitty Toe is joining us in the office today. We have a storm raging outside, and I love thunderstorms, but um, some of the other dogs don't, and so they are with my husband right now, hunkered down in his office, because they don't like storms. <clears throat> but Kitty Toe loves him. He's like me, so he's just passed out right now um, behind me. So, okay. So, our black is the Deco Art Americana Black Tie. This one is a true two to one, four parts um, straight Floetrol, four parts Floetrol, so four ounces of Floetrol, two ounces of paint, and um, we will put five drops of the Cell Magic in. I always put the silicone in right before we pour it because I don't want the silicone to sit there for too long. Our next color is going to be the Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics Pewter. Um, this one was four ounces of Floetrol and 1.5 ounces of paint. Because it's thicker, we have to use a little bit less paint or it's going to be too thick. Next color is the Primary Blue, um, Deco Art Americana Primary Blue, four ounces of Floetrol, two ounces of paint. Deco Art Dazzling Metallics Ice Blue. Again, this is a metallic, so it was four ounces of pouring medium or Floetrol, 1.5 ounces of paint. This is the Deco Art Americana Outdoor Living Fountain, four ounces of Floetrol, 1.5 ounces of paint. The paint in these jars are a lot thicker than what comes in here, so you kind of have to treat them like metallics and you do less paint. So the next one is uh, Deco Art Americana Outdoor Living uh, Turquoise Sky. Four ounces of Floetrol, 1.5 ounces of paint. Poolside Americana Decor Outdoor Living Poolside. Four ounces of Floetrol, 1.5 ounces of paint. And then our other one, our last one, is a little bit different because we are mixing two colors together. So it is four ounces of Floetrol. One ounce of the Deco Art Media Fluid Acrylics Cobalt Till Hue, and one ounce of the Deco Art Americana Snow Titanium White, and that gave us the lighter, pretty um, color here. Um, this is actually the color, the order that we are going to pour them on the canvas, and then we are going to do a wet paper towel swipe. 
I have learned that with paper towel swipes, um, the you get better results if you use a higher quality paper towel. So the really, really cheap, you know, dollar store paper towels like these that I use my hands to wipe on, I will not use these because um, they are not thick enough and they have a tendency to tear when you do a swipe. The paper towels that I use are the heavy duty bounty paper towels. So um, I think the paper towel that you use, just like the type of materials that you use are going to kind of dictate what kind of swipe you get. So I'm going to go ahead and get all of my paints put away and then we will be back and we are going to get our swipe done. All right, everything is put away. We have our paints uh, where we need them and um, we are going to go ahead and get started on the swipe. We're going to put five drops in our black. I think that was six drops. That's okay. Um, this is the Color Pour Cell Magic Silicone. I get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I like it because it is designed to do for this instead of using like treadmill silicone or Rain-X or all of those other things. I just stick with that and it always gives me good results and I think it's easier to clean. So as you can see, I'm just slowly folding that silicone in to the paint. You don't want to mix it a whole, whole lot because then you're gonna, you're gonna break up the silicone. Okay, that is all done. And we are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, just so you know, because of the look we are getting, we are actually gonna do a double swipe and we're gonna do a lot of tilting. So don't yell at me when you see that I'm tilting because the, we mean to tilt to get the ocean type look. So just so you know if ahead of time. We will be tilting and we will be doing a double swipe, so don't yell at me. Okay, let's get started.
Okay. We are going to leave it just like that. I really did not want to have to double swipe that because I loved the way it looked, but we started this video with a purpose. And so I'm going to fulfill that purpose of doing the, um, the, uh, ocean scene type thing. So now these cells are not as big as in the other painting, but that's okay. That's one of the great things about this is we will never be able to recreate exactly. It is the same idea, just it looks different. But um, I'm going to go ahead and shift this one to the drying rack, make sure everything is level. And then I'm going to bring in our extra canvas that I have waiting in the wings that we're just going to do a swipe on. Um, I really didn't want to have to swipe uh, to double swipe and tilt that, but... But again, we, we did this video for a purpose, and so um, I'm going to go ahead and get this shifted and get reset, and we will be right back. All right, we are back. Um, I forgot to tell you all the other canvas. The other canvas is an 18 by 24 level 1 artist loft canvas. Um, I think I forgot to tell you all that. This one is a level 2 14 by 18 artist loft canvas. Um... And it was prepped with the Deco Art Americana black tie. And that's it. Everything else you guys know from the other pour. So we're going to go ahead and get this one done. I promise I won't tilt and I won't double swipe or tilt this one unless we have to.
All right, we are all done. We are gonna leave that one just like that. Um, we have a whole bunch of really big cells and then we got some little bitty tiny cells and a little bit of lacing as we go to the bottom. So I'm gonna bring you down for a closer look on this one and then I will probably shift this one to the drying rack and bring you for a closer look on the other one. As always, I will get some macro shots of this and um, put it at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Remember, this is going to be part one and part two. We will come back in part two and I will show you how I seal all these. We will also put our vinyl on the other one. I'm going to pause you and I'm going to flip out these paintings. All right, everybody, I'm going to put this one back on the drying rack after I get some photos of it. And then we will be back once these are all dry to put on our vinyl and get everything sealed together. See y'all soon. Hi, everybody. We're back. It is all dried. I love the way it dried. Um, I love all of this right here. The silhouette's going to look wonderful. So the first thing we are going to do is we have to clean the silicone off. One of the reasons I like the silicone... Um, that we use today is because you can actually clean it off with just makeup remover pads. So these are just um, Equate makeup remover cleansing towelettes and I actually just use them to clean the canvas and so you just go over it really really well and get all of the silicone off. Alright, now that I cleaned it off with the makeup remover pad, I'm just going to take um, one of these baby wipes. And clean off um, the makeup remover pad, uh, the cleansing stuff. And then I just use a regular paper towel, a dry paper towel to dry it off. Okay, now that we're done with that, I'm going to take this outside and I am going to give it a good couple of coats of the Krylon spray lacquer. One of the reasons I like um, this bottle in particular is because of the nozzle here. So I actually will, if you can see the nozzle, it actually, you can move it and you can rotate it. So I will do um, one coat with the nozzle this direction going back and forth. And then I will flip the nozzle sideways and I will actually go up and down, kind of like a checkered board. And I'll probably do about two coats of that to make sure we coat the entire thing. Um, and gives us a great base to put our polycrylic on. So I'll be right back. Hi, everybody. We are back. Um, I have put a couple of coats on the painting. 
And so before we put our vinyl on, so I just got done weeding the vinyl and getting it all ready. Um, before we put it on, we are actually going to put down a couple coats of the polycrylic. That is going to give the um, a really, really good surface for the um, vinyl to adhere to. So um, this is the Minwax water-based polycrylic. And we are going to go ahead and put the first coat on. We're going to do multiple thin coats. We're going to do two first, and then we are going to put the vinyl on, and then we'll do probably two or three more. We're using a um, soft bristle brush. So this is a two and a half inch all paints and stains Trilon filament soft bristle brush. Um, and we are going to do a whole bunch of thin coats. All right, that is the first coat. We are going to let this one dry, and then we will be back to put on our second coat. And then after the second coat, we will put on the vinyl. Be right back. All right, we are back. The first coat is dry. We are going to go ahead and put on our second coat. All right, that's the second coat. We are gonna put our vinyl on next. Um, so we will be right back. Hi everybody. The first couple of coats are dried, so we are gonna go ahead and put on our vinyl. So this, we're gonna use this vinyl just like we did on the other one. And we are gonna go ahead and get it put on. All right, now that that is all done, we are gonna go ahead and seal the vinyl in with our polycrylic.
Hi, so we are back. Um, this is the other painting that we did. So we are going to use the same technique to clean the silicone off of this one. All right, now that that's all cleaned up, I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to put a couple of coats of the Krylon spray lacquer on it. And I think I actually want to put a vinyl on this one too. I think we are going to go this direction. And um, I'm going to see if I can find another undersea type vinyl that we can put on this one. So I'm going to go work on that while these dry. And we will be back to put our first coat on this one second coat on the other one and then put our vinyls on so see y'all soon hi everybody welcome back so i went ahead and i have put a couple coats of the polycrylic on this one it's the same technique i used um, for the other one but if you notice here i don't know if you can see it we have some pitting in the canvas where the silicone got underneath and the black didn't make it all the way to the canvas so what we're going to do to fix that is we are actually going to put a vinyl that goes this way. I know we originally talked about doing a vinyl this direction, but we're going to do a vinyl that comes this way. It's going to cover up that black and then come over the top. So this is, um, this is going to be a two piece vinyl. So this is a portion of it that we are going to go ahead and get put on. So there's the first part of the vinyl, and we are going to go ahead and get the second part. All right, and that is that one. We are gonna go ahead and put a couple of coats of the polycrylic on it to seal it. And um, then we are gonna wrap up these videos. Be right back. 
All right, now that we have the vinyl on, we are going to go ahead and get it sealed with the Minwax water-based polycrylic. Um, we will probably put a couple of three coats on, or I will put a couple of three coats on. We will probably only do, we're only going to do one together. We are going to use the same brush. This is the All Paints and Sains Trilon Filament 2.5 inch angled ovals soft bristle brush. And we will put the coats on the same way we did without the vinyls. All right, everybody, that is it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, when I posted the original one on some of my paint pouring Facebook groups that I'm on, um, I had some requests on how I did it. So that's why we did this video. Um, I know quite a few people wanted to recreate it. So let me know how it goes. Go see me on my Facebook page um, at Guided by Faith Designs. And, um, and let me know how yours turns out. Um, so again, thank you very much for watching all of the paint colors used as well as the mixture ratios. Everything is down in the description as well as links to the polycrylic, Krylon, the vinyl transfer paper, all of that kind of stuff that I use. All that's down in the description. Um, also down there links to my Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, as well as my website guidedbyfaithdesigns.net. And if you'd like to help sponsor my channel, the uh, link is down there as well. I will be posting this one and the other painting. Um, the finished products and all that um, pictures at the end of the video as well as the macro shots and then the paintings themselves will be available for sale on my website at guidedbyfaithdesigns.net I'll put a link to that down in the description as well as a link to my Redbubble and Teespring accounts where I make pillows and all that kind of stuff off of some of these macro shots as well as you can get prints of this as well so Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody enjoyed this. Good luck on creating your own. And as always, God bless.